I just noticed Sora has a wing. He's almost he's got two wings, never mind. I was gonna say he's almost like Sephiroth. Because he's got a wing. And and Jill and Genesis and stuff. They all got one wing. They can't afford two wings or shit, like I don't know. They've all got one wing. And there's hardless here now. Which I don't think there were hardless here before, never mind. Only in the very beginning there were in second time we went through here there were already hardless, so. Don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. I mean, me. Okay, well, technically I'm kind of the man behind the curtain because I'm behind the microphone and it's the, I'm not. No, I'm not. Never mind. So, yeah. Last episode we uh, had a very long episode. So this episode's probably going to be kind of short as a direct result of that because these worlds just are an hour long. Well, maybe I spend a lot of time. Maybe doing useless shit, so maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've done a little redecorating! Wait, something's not quite right. I know what it is! We just need a little more of that boogie flair! I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> hmm. Oh, clumsy oaf! Are you still here? Why don't you boogie on back where you came from? You're crabbing my style! Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Hmm. Sorry. Can't remember a thing. Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurn my help. But maybe this is not going to be a short episode because the boss fight in this world is insanely long for no apparent reason, so maybe it's a normal length episode. Very possible. No shit, Donald. No fucking shit. Well, anyway, uh... Do I... No, I don't. Do, do I get a drive refill? Don't feel like it's necessary, but it might be useful. Of course it's not necessary. Nothing is ever necessary, but... It could be useful to get. That's all I'm saying. Also, again, wisdom. Not for this upcoming boss fight. It's gonna be Valor. There's some more Heartless. I'd like more Heartless. Thank not those kind of Heartless. They are annoying. Uh, all these are hardless are annoying. Actually, the magic ones aren't that bad, but uh, the surprise box thingies, those, yeah, they're very bad. They're kind of annoying. And they don't even give you that much more experience, honestly. Only 35 more than these. And these are very easy to kill, so... Let's just spin this just because. We can't go into drive immediately, but we can't attack Ubi immediately in the fight either, so... We've got some time to build up our drive before we get to finish off Oogie. Which we don't get to finish him off immediately either. There's a lot of things going on here. Let's just go to the shop thingy. Shipping and thing. I don't know what it's at. The workshop. That's what it is. It's a workshop. <laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I 
don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Uh? Uh? Mr. Santa Claus! Uh. Uh. Why, you... I do like how it shows you the gimmick of the boss fight in the cutscene. Because that's the gimmick of the boss fight. There's three lanes and you have to be at the same lane Oogie is. And you smash these things up with reaction commands to break his glass cage and then you beat him up. And you get to do like a little bit of HP. You see he's got less than two HP bars, but you'll see soon that that is actually quite a lot for a boss fight like this. I think it's 11 boxes you have to hit him with. Oh, also, yeah, that's still a thing. This should do it, maybe, kind of, soonish, maybe. Yeah, that's it. So you get to do a little bit of damage to him, which, well, actually a fair amount. But then he becomes invincible after, like, not even half a bar. Which is annoying! Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Alright, yeah. And he's going to be switching lanes as well, so keep an eye out for that. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. Cure. All right. And that is heartless. Because this wasn't hard enough as it was. At least Quick Run just kind of saved me. Move! Ah, I moved the wrong side, I moved to the wrong side, I need- This is why the boss fight is very annoying. Move right. He's still right. Okay? Yeah, he is. And he's almost broken his cage, so... This should do it? No, one more. This one should do it. That one does the trick, go. For the next one, I can use Valor, not for this one. This one's way too little damage left. Actually, it was a good amount of damage I did there. But for the next one, I can use Valor and I can probably finish him off, honestly. I need to move to the middle. Move center. Good. All right, let's hit some boxes up to you. I think it's 11 again. Also, this is not difficult to dodge whatsoever. It seems... Oh. Never mind. Ne never mind. I said nothing. I should be fine. I... Oh, damn it. No. And he moved. I don't care about that heartless. Move left. He's at the left, right? He is. He's at the left, right? That's funny. You see why I'm... Kinda against having this boss fight... Because, quite frankly, it sucks a little bit. But I should be somewhat close now to being able to hit him again. Never mind. Magic. This is the first time I've actually had to use Q at all in a boss fight, I believe. Let alone more than once. So, there is quite a challenge here. But it's mostly annoying and tedious, more so than it is actually difficult. I mean, there's a fair amount of difficulty here, but most of it is, again, because it's length and it's just annoying. Oh, uh, party! Goofy! Ja uh, oh, Goofy is... Oh, alright, never mind. That's my bad. 
I can finish him off now. Oh god, I got anti. Well, I got anti. Which means that I'm not going to be getting anti anytime soon. Anti form is a form you get randomly and it's really powerful, but you can't heal, you can't use your reaction commands, and pretty much kills you most of the time against bosses. Well, there's an entire system for getting anti, so. All right, Christmas is safe again. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. <laughs> yup, you want to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Jack. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Sandy Claus. Listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over from me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs. We better get going. 
Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Oh, yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him. Just as you found me. Right. Believe in you'll find him. Believe in the heart of the card, Sora. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's that's the wrong franchise. I'm very sorry. Um, Sora's trying to become a Keyblade. Oh, he's actually trying to become a Keyblade. I want to say Pokemon Master, Keyblade Master. He's actually trying to do that, so that doesn't work. That joke. Uh, this episode's a little bit shorter, but not as short as I thought it would be. So that's always good. Next episode, we'll be going to the Pride Lands, which is one of my favorite worlds of all time. <laughs> Until then, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe there to my channel. If you want to help out the growth of the channel, you can share this video on social media. If you want to follow me on my social media for multiple reasons, which you probably know by now, you can check it out. Links down below in the description. I think there's Google Plus in there as well, somewhere maybe. But Twitter and Facebook are the main ones. Google Plus, I don't manually use. I think videos automatically get posted there, maybe possible. I don't know. I think they do. So yeah, until the next time, as always, Ivan Vlogger, you have been awesome. Bye.